So you're thinking of becoming an anti-Semite? Good, you're in the right place. Hello, I'm Marlon Solomon, and I'll be your Jewish guide on your anti-Jewish journey. Now here's what you need to know if you really want to be an anti-Semite. Anti-Semitism is complicated. It's not just saying that Jews are subhuman. Nope, my friends, it's saying that Jews are subhuman and they run the world. Meet the Rothschilds. Back in the 1760s, the Rothschilds, who were Jewish by the way, were lucky enough to make some money and found a bank. But they didn't find a bank, they found it. It just doesn't matter. Anyway, annoyingly for the rest of us Jews, they were incredibly successful. Look them up online now and that relatively simple family history has become a bit more, how do you say, anti-Semitic-y? Yes, the Rothschilds are Jewish and for over 200 years now, conspiracy theories about them have been used as proof of the anti-Semitic belief that Jews are secretly to blame for the world's problems. Big fans of this theory were, any guesses? Yes, the Nazis, whose 1940 film, De Rothschild, was made to incite the German population to hate the Jews. Even today, where the word Rothschild is used, anti-Semitism is rarely far behind. Don't believe me? Well, let's do some Googling. Now, according to websites that you wouldn't want turning up in your search history, and I'm not talking about cats that look like Hitler.com, the Rothschilds own the Bank of England, have engineered every war since the 1800s, and here's the kicker, even funded the Holocaust. And it doesn't stop there. According to out there conspiracy theorists like this guy, they're not even human. Nope, they're actually alien lizard people who have produced hundreds of thousands of offspring in sperm bank breeding programs with a view to galactic domination. I get you not and he sells out arenas. And the thing is though, whether it's from the dark web or the lizard guy, most of what you'll find online about the Rothschilds is right? Well, here's the thing. Like roughs and powdered wigs, the Rothschilds were massive 200 years ago, but nowadays, not so much. Yet despite this, fall far enough down any world domination conspiracy theory rabbit hole and you will find some Rothschilds. Just to be clear, I'm not saying that the Rothschilds are rabbits. Yeah, that's a whole other video. So what is it about the Rothschilds that has people so riled up? I'll give you a clue. It rhymes with clue. The Rothschilds get blamed for everything. You want to know why capitalism is unfair? Blame the Rothschilds. Why can't you get a loan? Blame the Rothschilds. And who's been leaving the toilet seat up when you swear you put it down? It's probably not the Rothschilds, but you get the idea. And the thing is, for any of this to be true, you have to believe so many ridiculous things. Uh, and if that wasn't bad enough, it puts your views in line with actual Hitler. Which, last time I checked, is generally a pretty bad thing. Unless you're trying to be an anti-Semite. Which you are, so that's great. If you enjoyed these videos and you want to know more about anti-Semitism, subscribe to the channel and click these links.